So we've got the large uh, Harvest Right freeze dryer, the five tray, and my wife uses this thing constantly. And recently we've been getting, I've got it unplugged now, but we, we've been getting an alert right here that says extra freeze dry, freeze time required. Now this is after the vacuum pump has come on. It's already down to negative 25 degrees. The vacuum pump comes on, it runs for a few minutes, and then the thing decides that it needs more freeze time. So it turns the vacuum pump on and turns the cooling, the compressor back on. And some research I, I found online said that it could be that this valve, this is the factory valve, this is a valve that I've added just for test purposes, um, that this valve may be faulty. So I put this, this valve on there and I left a little bit of water right here in this clear hose. Then I closed this valve, I turned the vacuum pump on and periodically there would be a bubble that would rise up from here and through the water and I could see that. So I know that either both of these valves are bad, which I don't think so, or that this fitting, this hose right here where it's crimped on there has a tiny leak in it that's allowing air when this tank is under vacuum is allowing air to pull back in which with all the computer stuff and sensors and things that this freeze dryer has makes it think that it does has not had enough freeze time so i'm going to show you guys how i think well i'm going to show you how i'm going to fix this at least i think i'm going to fix this to where it can eliminate all of that hose you can see it right here Eliminate all of that hose. We can still use it as a drain hose, but we'll not be using that under pressure anymore. This is just a standard three quarter inch full port ball valve from, I got it from Lowe's. I think it was maybe $15, but I want to make sure that the handle points down because um, if I put it on here like this and she tries to open it, it's going to hit the tank. So make sure that the handle's down. And in doing that, this is actually a two port ball valve. You can see this seam right here. And I have had this happen in the past on some job sites. If you're tightening this ball valve, well, tightening is not a big deal, but loosening it, if you're loosening it using this side of the body, sometimes this can unthread and it'll break it right there at that seam. So I want to make sure that I'm being careful not to, to, to put my wrench either on this side or to make sure that I'm always tightening it, not loosening it. The so ball valve uh, handle is down. This is three quarter, like I said, put Teflon tape and some pipe thread sealant on there. Going to tighten this up and then try a little thread row. One more revolution. Put a backup wrench on the, the tank if I think it's getting too tight. All right, so it, it is kind of still defrosting, as you can see, but got it sealed down tight, got a nice seal on the door. 
gonna go in here and start the vacuum pump just to see what kind of how many microns we can get that vacuum pulled down to. Oh, and I can see this. Oh, I need to do that. That number right there dropping. We want that during operation. It's down probably below 500. So it's got a ways to go. Probably won't take it that long to get there. Okay, so it's been running for just over four minutes. We're down to 1,760. I've always called them microns. I don't know what mTOR is, but microns. The lower this is, the deeper the vacuum. Uh, it's going to take a little while to get down even lower because of all of the moisture that's in here from defrosting it. Um, is that a focus? Yeah, you can see it. It's just got to boil all that, that moisture out before it's going to actually pull it down into a deep vacuum. But I did a old-fashioned test where I just put my hand against the bottom of this valve and held it there for a little while. And if this was leaking by as in a vacuum, I would have, I guess what us kids used to call hickeys um, on my hand and that's not, it's not pulling at all. So I think this valve is sealed off very, very well. I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna stop the vacuum and, and continue hooking it up uh, so that she'll have a drain valve out of here. Right, here it is finished product or finished fix anyways i think this this freezer already is still under warranty and some of you are going to ask well ron why don't you just order a new hose well i think that this is going to be a recurring problem uh anytime we have crimp type fittings on on pressure or vacuum stuff it's going to continue to be a problem and this hopefully will eliminate that for a long time plus she doesn't want it to be down long enough for them to send a new one because I dropped this down a little bit further, I did have to put a little block of wood in there so that we didn't create a, a trap right here that would hold water. Because if that holds water, when you drain it, when you open that to release the vacuum, it's gonna suck all that water back in there. We don't want that. So just make sure that it, this is higher than that and that there's no bellies in it to hold water. I have not made any permanent changes to this. Like I said, it's under warranty. I have not made any permanent changes. So if we had to send it back, I could just take this this, and take this valve out and reconnect it here. And then, then it would be back to uh, the way it was from the factory. I'm not going to put the back on it for the same reason. Uh, so she can reach this valve. Once it's out of warranty, I'll put the back on it and I'll um, cut a little access hole where she can access this valve. But I think this is going to work way better than, than the factory one. And I'll keep you guys updated. All right, friends, quick update on the freeze dryer. Uh, she's got some delicious banana pudding bites going in there, and they are good. But the focus, yep. Uh, the valve change out did not fix the extra freeze time needed uh, problem. However, it did make it to where that it's able to get here a lot faster and, and keep it there. Seems like with a lot less work on the vacuum pump. So it was a good fix, it was a needed fix, and it will prevent problems in the future. But the real fix for this was this. There was an update that came out for um, the freeze dryers, 5.2 something, that's free on the Harvest Right um, website. Went on there, I downloaded onto a thumb drive, you turn the machine off, you plug your thumb drive in, you turn the machine back on, and it loads all of the new firmware. And since then, uh, the machine has worked flawlessly uh, the way that it was supposed to. So if you're having the same issues with yours, you may check into having a firmware update, or if you notice that yours is leaking um, on the drain valve, it might help you to just change it out to a bigger and better, much stronger valve, and eliminate that, oh, this thing's not one of those, and eliminate that uh, possible crimp hose connection that leaks. So anyways, if you guys have any questions, just send it my way. Till then, get you some freeze-dried goodies and enjoy this deliciousness. So thanks for watching.